Now live pictures show the King Center, where today people, are they are honoring the life and legacy of the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Usually filled outside with folks watching, but COVID has changed a lot of those plans. Today, Atlanta, along with the rest of the country and the world, pausing to honor Atlanta's native son, a man whose life mission was to ensure every man, woman, and child could live without being burdened by the yoke of oppression. Even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, first observed as a federal holiday, in 1986, nearly two decades after his assassination in Memphis, Tennessee. Right now, the late Dr. King's home church, Ebenezer Baptist Church, hosting its annual King Day celebration. Governor Brian Kemp actually delivering a message via videotape, along with Vice President Kamala Harris, Pastor of Ebenezer and U.S. Senator Reverend, Reverend Raphael Warnock, actually there in attendance speaking at the celebration about the need for voting rights. Dr. King's oldest son, Martin King III, is reminding people about who his father truly was, a man who did not stand on the side in the midst of an injustice. Recently, he and his wife telling CBS News they're calling for no celebration without legislation. 